hard time with this. Is this a gasoline uh, engine or diesel? This is a diesel engine. Let us tell you some more about diesel engines. Can you please? Because I'm kind of confused right now. Engines are most common used to power chainsaws, jet skis, and dirt bikes. They are also used in large applicators such as locomotives and big cargo ships since laws controlling emission levels are not as strict for those vehicles. Four stroke engine examples would include diesel passenger cars and trucks and all military vehicles and generators. The advantages of a diesel engine is the more combustion for more fuel efficiency. The more combustion, the more the four stroke crankshaft is turning, which is causing displacement. In 2013, a diesel has a higher energy density than a gasoline. Energy density is the amount of energy stored in a substance and is rated in British thermal units, which is BTU <laughs> or joules. One gallon of diesel has 147,000 BTU in comparison, one gallon of regular grade gasoline contains 125,000 BTU. Diesel burns hotter and cleaner, greater entail costs, put more money into it and make a better profit. Um, greater weight, the greater weight's awesome because obviously you're not gonna get stuck in the snow, you know, you can go a longer distance. Um, you can pull more weight with it, like a camper to go camping in, that'd be pretty awesome. You don't have to do a lot of maintenance on it, um, so it's a lot cheaper to get a diesel anyways. Um, and you can use it in the work industry more, obviously like the army, Navy, whatever okay. you want to do. Um, because that torque is going to help in the work industry, because even if you're like, like a bobcat, like a bobcat's diesel, so that's a lot better. of a diesel um, engine is um, they're really stinky and they're really smoky. Can't really see that right now because it's not running, um, but that is the case. And also um, in cold weather conditions, they're really difficult to start. In addition, another disadvantage is um, the diesel fuel kind of gets um, more viscous. It comes really thick and uh, Diesel engines rely on glow plugs to heat highly compressed air to ignite a precise amount of fuel to initiate combustion. Heating the air to a minimum starting temperature of approximately 1,562 degrees Fahrenheit is critical for diesel engine startup. The glow plug is only used to initially heat the cylinder air at the start, and then they're not used after that while the engine is running, because once in motion, the compression caused by the cylinders causes enough heat to ignite the diesel fuel. And a two-stroke engine, a full cycle, is completed in one rotation of the crankshaft. The piston goes up, it not only turns the crankshaft, but also pressurizes the fuel-air mixture, which is admitted to the piston for the next cycle. Near the bottom of the stroke, an outlet opens and the exhaust gases are released. Even closer to the bottom of the stroke, an inlet opens and new fuel-air rushes in ready for compression. Theoretically, two-stroke engines can produce twice as much power as a four-stroke engine because there's a power stroke for every turn rather than every other turn, although two-stroke engines are less efficient and not very clean burning. This internal combustion engine operates on four-stroke motion to convert heat energy to mechanical energy. The intake stroke, the piston starts at the top of the cylinder. When it draws down, it pulls in a cylinder full of air, and this is called the intake stroke. The next stroke is the compression stroke, where it will compress the air so compactly it rapidly heats up the hot air enough to ignite the diesel fuel, which creates a combustion temperature between 932 and 1,111 degrees Fahrenheit. The next stroke is the power stroke. So once the fuel air mix has combusted, it will force the piston in a downward motion. The final stroke is the exhaust stroke. 
which is an upward motion of the piston which forces out the exhaust fumes from the combustion back out the cylinder and then it's reset for the intake stroke again. So Sergeant Manley, what did yes. you learn about diesel engines today? Well today I learned about diesel engines have their place in the world. You know they're good for hauling stuff, a lot of heavy weight for a lot for a further away. May not be have a good application for driving just to and from work. But beyond that, it's a good truck.